Alright guys, we are checking out BrewDog for the brews and views. We're going to be walking up to the freaking top floor. Check it out. No one told me stairs would be in this. Okay, so we made it up the stairs after, you know, a few little breaks. Um, these girls and this gentleman over here all got training wheels. I'm sorry for the noise. We got these misses behind us. They're very loud. How are the training wheels, guys? Delicious. Okay, I'm totally delicious. I got an, El was an Elvis Paloma. I think it's an Elvis Paloma. Mmm, very refreshing. It's very hot. We've got these misters up here. We're trying to figure out what to order. We're here on a Monday which also happens to fall on Veggie Monday, so I gotta figure out what I'm gonna get, which is perfect for me, so we're gonna figure out what we're gonna order and we'll touch base shortly. So how are the... Good. A plus. A plus? New York serum, how's the York serum? We're good, okay, we got a pretzel here as well. We got some cauliflower tacos, let's give these a try. Okay, so I mean these tacos, they are actually quite spicy. <laughs> um, we are gonna do the pretzel with the cheese. Mm. Pretzel's very buttery, very good. Good. It also comes with the honey mustard. We're gonna do the honey mustard now. Mm, I better. Honey mustard. It hits good. All right, so quick recap on BrewDog. Like, quite honestly, I really wanted to like it. I really wanted to, it's somewhere that I wanted to go to for a while and I really wanted to be like excited about it and this and that and the other. Cause like, to me, like, I don't like ordering big meals. I love just getting, you know, a group of friends together, splitting some appetizers, having some cocktails and, and that being sort of our meal. We're here on a Monday. It happened to be like a, a veggie Monday, which is perfect for me because I do, you know, I eat seafood, but like I am a, a pescatarian. So um, it was good for me because there was a lot of, you know, veggie options. So I think maybe we just didn't order the right way or something, I don't know. So Cody ordered the Yorkshire puddings with the gravy. He barely touched, I think he had like one. Our friends ordered the uh, uh, cauliflower wings. Again, like they, they buy, it was buy one, get one because it was the, the Veggie Monday. So they neither, neither of them finished it. So they probably could have actually dealt with just having one and sharing it. Uh, me personally, I ended up getting the pretzel because I thought it was a buy one get one. So I thought, you know, I could just share with everybody or just take it home with me. And then I got these like uh, cauliflower tacos. Um, they brought me two. And honestly, the way they set up the bill was very confusing. Like, I'm actually still not sure we actually paid what we were supposed to pay. They're also giving us coupons on the way in for $5 off. Um, our cocktails, which again, I feel like they didn't quite do properly. I don't know. Again, like it just it just seemed like everything was very confusing. We didn't feel like we got the right deals and discounts that we were supposed to get. Anyway, moving on from that. The cauliflower tacos I found to be, you know, they were quite spicy, but I I I didn't I didn't love it. To be honest with you, the the pretzel was decent though. The pretzel was all right. You know, it came with the the cheese sauce and the honey mustard. It was pretty decent. Problem being, we sat outside on the patio. We had the misters blowing on us. So the entire time the misters were just blowing on all of our food, blowing on us. It kind of did like, I think at least probably ruin the food like a little bit just because they were blowing quite strong. But I also understand, you know, like it's hot, the humidity, this, that, and the other. So I get it, but I think it did kind of take away a little bit of the experience, just a little bit. Drinks were okay, as I said, like nothing, nothing to write home about. I think that's what it is. I think that's the honest opinion. Like, did we order wrong? Maybe, because I think there's people out there who really do seem to like BrewDog, but I've also heard a mixed thing that like, 
quite often that uh, it's it's fairly empty in there. It quite often does have a harder time filling space just because of the location. Like I think a lot of people don't ex know it exists because it is just above the Olive Garden there. Um, unless you know the signage, unless you know what you're looking for, I don't think you always know that it's there or you know what you're looking for in particular. So I think that is part of the problem is the, I would say brand recognition and awareness um because you basically have to you're not really super I, I walked right past it and i knew i know where it is and i still walked right past it and uh anyway we had to take an elevator up a few floors then another flight so anyway it wasn't the easiest to navigate i will say that um there was enough people in there so i'm sure they're doing okay i don't know if that's just a bad rumor that i heard that that people aren't really digging it right now i don't know but i'm sure it isn't it's it's a prime real estate it's prime location the view is great. I do like the view that you can sort of see pretty much the entire strip. The side we sat sort of showed the uh, the north end so I could see, you know, like the, the north end of the strip. But uh, if you sat on the other side of the, the bar, you'd probably see the, obviously more so like, you know, uh, Mendeley Bay and um, MGM Grand, et cetera, et cetera. So for me, I don't want to knock the place. It didn't overly excite or thrill me any which way like there's certain places when i come to vegas that i think like i okay that's a that's a go-to for me i gotta go back there i gotta make sure i eat this place again i gotta make sure i have that meal or drink or or whatever the case is this is one that i'm probably gonna skip unless there's a particular you know good reason for me to go there i think for the most part i'm probably gonna skip it again like maybe i didn't order the right things i'm not a beer drinker i'm not a meat eater so my palate definitely limits me you know in certain respects but uh, i do eat out a lot so i think i do understand like for the most part like good restaurants good you know places to go to so yeah for me it's probably a skip but uh you know don't take my word for it check it out for yourselves um maybe there's something that i'm missing again the view is cool so if you're maybe just on a you know guy's trip and you just want to have some beers and just hang out before you go out maybe that's the place to go because at least you got nice views we also were sort of there before the sun came down so we didn't get to see all of the you know the lights and things like that but i mean again like locations like that i mean i'm staying at the cosmopolitan currently i have good views of the strip i have you know good views of the lights and things like that so is it you know super imperative for me to eat at a place like that maybe not anyway those are my thoughts those are my opinions let me know what your thoughts are below if you've eaten a brew dog what you did i screw up did i eat the wrong thing did i order the wrong thing let me know below um if you found this at all helpful please consider liking subscribing all the usual youtube stuff once again this is Daniel spot right and we'll see you next one bye